time ago, back before we all were born, an apple fell out of a tree. And by some cosmic stroke of luck, the man whose head this apple struck would change the course of world history. For he had a brilliant notion to write his three laws of motion that described an object's path using nothing more than math. And with these rules he did explain to all of us with lesser brains why it's okay for us to claim that F equals MA. So bye bye, Mr. Gravity Guy. Yeah, you gave a way to save us when somebody asks why. Now we can't explain why things fall out of the sky. Oh, we no longer had to lie. Oh, we no longer had to lie. Now later on, while he was at work in underpaid Swiss patent clerk, Send a couple papers out. Now this young man's first name was Al, and from this humblest of locales, he developed quite a bit of clout. Well, the topics were relativity and something about the square of C. He gave us something new. Yeah, he came out of the blue. Takes a near speed of light trip, returns home younger by quite a bit compared to his brother here on Earth. So bye bye, relativity guy. Yeah, you showed us how a snake gets shorter when it flies by. At least if it's traveling near the speed of light, and your mustache it was white. <laughs> yeah, your mustache it was white. Now, since then, there have been a few who have studied physics just like these two. I've had the pleasure to learn from some of them. And they wear brown and gold and stay up all night to check and see if my answers were right. I really like the guy they all call Clem. Then there was Red Sox Thermal with Dr. G and Lagrangian Mechanics with Dr. P and Wasma gave some traction for studying nuclear reactions. Now I can tell you how waves propagate and how much it takes to separate a silicon substrate in juice or M. So bye bye, Western Island a ton. I can now explain the processes that happen in the sun and calculate the binding of a Deuteron. Oh, but now I am finally done. <laughs> yes, now I am finally done. So thank you all for everything that you've taught. Just don't ask me what it was because I probably forgot. <laughs> but I appreciate all of your effort a lot. And in return, I wrote you this crappy song.